when shooting a bank shot. Don't square up to the bullseye that's on the rim. Square up to the bullseye that's on the backboard, your target on the backboard. When you catch the ball this close to the basket, you're in traffic that's body to body with you. You can't keep the ball in your shot pocket and pivot into the defense. You'll stick the ball right in their chest, right in their hands. You must begin the motion of your shot as you pivot so that the ball is already above your head when you face the defender. When you shoot, you want your weight into the shot. This means you may land uh, a little closer to the goal than where you jump. How far is okay? I think the length of your own foot is about right. In this section, we're going to train Patrick to uh, shorten his shot by dragging the inside foot, as opposed to me breaking out, catching a pass way out here, Catching in a hop with my feet facing the basket, I'm at the NBA three. So we're going to shorten this pass by letting Patrick drag this in the side foot and then step back to it. When you're shooting close to the basket, say five to ten feet, don't make drastic changes in your form. I see lots of players hanging in the air, uh, trying to shoot on the way down, uh, shortening their follow through. Uh, instead of doing that, just think about slowing your hands a little bit at the top of your shot. That way you don't change your form from the way you've trained it at any other distance. If you find yourself falling short when you're shooting that shot that's just a little out of your range, just consider moving your hands a little faster from shot pocket to finish. Don't think about changing your form to get more power. Just speed your hands up. Remember the first method of training with a partner where you shot with a line on the ground that was also your shot line. Well, you can do that uh, without a partner on the side of most backboards. Let the side of the backboard be your shot line, line it up, find a target, and then concentrate on your form.